Hey guys, welcome to the video. We're going to look at some key interesting WordPress facts for 2021. So let's just jump into it. So I'll zoom this up for you guys so you can see. All right, let's start off with the basics. There are over 455 million websites that use WordPress. 409 million people view 15.5 billion WordPress pages every month. 41 0.7 million posts are published every month on WordPress. English is used in 71% of its posts. WordPress has a huge install base. It is the most popular content management system in the world. And a lot of small businesses use WordPress. So that means there is a lot of work for WordPress professionals. People who know how to install and configure WordPress, people who understand the WordPress ecosystem, and people who know how to write the code that builds WordPress. More on that in about two seconds. WP Forms is the most popular and beginner-friendly drag-and-drop form builder for WordPress. You can create anything from a simple contact form to a powerful payment form to accept orders and donations. Leverage conditional smart conditional logic to create dynamic forms that respond to customers' input and more, all without writing any code or developer help. In just a few clicks, you can integrate your forms with popular email marketing services like MailChimp to automatically add users to your mailing list when a user submits a form and industry staple payment providers like Stripe, PayPal, and Authorize.net to accept payments for orders, donations, and even subscriptions. Once a form is submitted, you can access your user submitted form data in our easy to read entry pages, keeping all of your important business leads together in one place, saving you precious time you can spend on expanding your business. Check out the link below to access WP Forms and take advantage of all its capabilities. The most popular WordPress theme has earned more than $30 million. A theme is just a WordPress template. I'll get into that in a second. Over 1,074, well, 1,074 word camps have been held so far. The average pay for WordPress developer is $53,000. These are U.S. funds. So... When it comes to the average pay, you have to understand that this is a worldwide thing. So where you happen to live in the world will affect that salary quite a bit. So if you're in New York City, your salary would be much higher than if you lived in, say, Thailand. It's just because the cost of living in New York City is much higher. That being said, it's pretty clear that WordPress professionals, depending on the type of work that you do with WordPress, is a pretty good job to get into. There are 58,250 available plugins for WordPress. I'll get into plugins in a second. 39% of hacked WordPress sites run an outdated version of the software. So the key point is there is that when you're running a WordPress site, you want to make sure you keep it up to date. Fortunately, with the current versions of WordPress, it has auto updaters and so forth, so you don't have to worry about that. The other two major ways in which WordPress sites get hacked is because of bad plugins and because of weak passwords. So if you keep your WordPress up to date, you use proper plugins, don't use the free ones most of the time. You're much better off typically with the paid plugins. I'll get into plugins soon. And you want to make sure you have good, strong passwords. A general password tip is that you never use the same password on any other sites, whether it be WordPress or Facebook or your banking accounts, always use totally different passwords. And you're probably better off using password generators and keeping a separate file offline with all your passwords. Maybe use a password manager. WordPress is created with PHP, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. WordPress visual templates are called themes. There are a huge number of themes out there. That's one of the reasons why WordPress is so powerful. WordPress can be extended via plugins. So let me just jump into that in a quick second. So you have your core WordPress software that you install. WordPress software is basically a bunch of PHP pages with PHP, HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript. And they all work together. You upload it to your server, and uh, bing, bang, Bob's your uncle. You have a 
fairly powerful content management system. That said, there are ways you can add functionality to WordPress outside of the core WordPress app that you can download for free. And that is through something called the plugin. So basically, it's literally extra functionality that you plug into WordPress. And there's a whole marketplace of plugins out there, some free, not some free, some not free. And they can, for example, add shopping cart capability to WordPress or add Stripe capability to WordPress or add podcasting capability to WordPress. Just off the top of my head, there's so many. Like with the plugins, you have WordPress themes, which are typically the visual templates. So you can have a theme that looks like a wedding site. Boom, drop it in. Boom, you got a wedding site. Another theme, boom, you have a uh, MMA site. You get the, the look and the feel for it, and so on and so forth. There's so many themes out there. Themes, though, can go way beyond the visual capability. Themes can add a lot of functionality. can get pretty advanced, pretty complex. Themes sometimes, when they're so commercial, could be a combination of traditional themes, which are visual templates plus plug-in capabilities. Your job as a WordPress user and a WordPress professional is to understand that ecosystem, understand the options that you have with regards to themes and plugins, which ones are good, which ones are not good, et cetera, et cetera. WordPress plugins are created with PHP, HTML, and CSS, and JavaScript. So if you want to really maximize your WordPress professional skills, you got to learn these things, these languages. And WordPress is one of the key reasons PHP will never die. Now, people who know my channel know I've been an advocate for PHP for the longest time for a whole bunch of reasons I won't get into here. And what surprises people who don't know much about PHP is how popular it is. It's always in the top five or six most popular programming languages in the world. A big part of it is because of WordPress, in, in all honesty. Because WordPress is created with PHP, WordPress is so widely used that a lot of people are using PHP to extend WordPress, to create themes for WordPress, et cetera, et cetera. It's not the only reason, but it's one of the key reasons. And because WordPress is so dominant, it's by far the most dominant web builder, if you will, or content management system, system out there. I'm not saying it's the best necessarily, but it's so dominant, uh, PHP is never going to go anywhere. So there you go. If you want to learn about PHP, you want to learn about writing HTML and CSS, I invite you to take a look below. I have courses that are interactive, my own, built on my own platform, which makes learning how to code easy. Just check out reviews as well. We've got a bunch of reviews on Google. And I invite you to take a look. You can't go wrong. So if you want to become a WordPress professional, whether you want to work for a company or freelance, I got the training for you. Links below. Uh, it doesn't get, doesn't get any easier. Thanks for watching.